Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. Looking at what you can expect, what's been going on for you in the recent past, what's the current challenge, a little bit about who you might be dealing with and where this is all headed next. So let's jump right in for Scorpio. For Scorpio, Spirit Angels. What messages, what guidance do you have for Scorpio at this time, Spirit? What messages, what guidance do you have for the sign of Scorpio? For Scorpio, what can Scorpio expect regarding love or relationships? The King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What can Scorpio expect? Oh, I got two. King of Cups, Six of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to be dealing with someone or are dealing with someone, and this is just a continuation, that kind of is ticking all of your boxes. Some of you, this could be from someone from the past that you feel takes all of your boxes and you still think that that could work, that it could work out. Let's see, tell me more about the King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, yeah, I feel like you see the potential here with someone. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is something that already probably ended, Ten of Swords, but I think there's still feelings here. This could also be their energy coming through. Tell me more for Scorpio for the month of October. What does Scorpio need to know for the month of October, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know? What's going on for them in the month of October? Balancing act, you are juggling multiple things at once. Broken silence, open up, be vulnerable and express your true feelings. Someone's debating whether they should open up, whether they should break the silence is what I'm seeing here. I feel like they go back and forth about this. Hmm, this could be you, this could be this person that you already have a history with. Let's see, what's been going on in the recent past? Spirit, what's been going on in the recent past for Scorpio? The Nine of Pentacles, what's been going on in the recent past for this sign of Scorpio? What's been, okay. Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like some of you have not had an easy time of it. Whatever has been going on, it, it hasn't been, why am I getting that word, fun? <laughs> that's not what I wanted to say, but that's the word that's coming through. Like, it hasn't been fun. Um, Maybe you've been stressed or worried about being single or about being independent or about being admired or about being attractive. Um, I feel like you're trying to keep it together. That's that's kind of what I'm seeing here. This could also be that on the inside, you're like freaking out, not doing well, but on the outside, nobody can see. It's like on the outside, you look like you have it all together. You're independent. You are secure and stable, but inside you're like falling apart. And the Nine of Wands tells me at the bottom of the deck here that it's for a reason. This isn't something that's just coming out of the blue. It's because you're dealing with something, the aftermath of something, or you just haven't given up on something, or you were hurt but before in the past, but it's almost like there's a lingering energy. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Tell me more, Spirit. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Six of Pentacles. Some of you might be worried about work. Um, will something work out? Will something be resolved? Yeah, Five of Cups. Some of you are looking back at the past and wondering if something will be resolved. Maybe you're anxious that it won't be. Maybe you're trying to get over someone, but your mind always comes back to them. What's the challenge for Scorpio? Spirit, what's the challenge for Scorpio at this time? What is the challenge? 
for Scorpio? Ace of Swords, truth, communication. Some of you, since this is in the challenge posi position, it's like there is no communication. There is no clarity. There's no um, honesty. Seven of Cups, yeah, there, I feel like there's no clarity about something or someone. Um, I feel like that's part of the reason that you can't let something go, Scorpio. I think you want to talk to someone, but since it's not happening, it's all you think about. Let me know if that's resonating for you, but that's kind of what I'm getting here. I think you want to hear something specific, though. Or just get that closure, that clarity that you've been missing. What do we need to know? First Scorpio, what do we need to know? How about this Ace of Swords? Seven, okay. Yeah, Four of Cups on the floor here. So I think until you get this clarity or until you get this communication, I feel like you're waiting for it. Nothing else will do, nothing else will interest you. I feel like some of you were rejected and you don't understand why and that's what's like plaguing you. And I feel like you're trying to ignore it. You're trying not to, to not have this get to you, but it's hard because whatever ending this was, it hurt. I think you're still hoping that this could work. And all it would take for this to work in your mind is for someone to break their silence. Like you just want to hear it from them or you just want to open the lines of communication. So let's jump to this other person. Spirit, tell me about this person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. What are, what are they thinking about Scorpio right now? What's on their mind when it comes to Scorpio or this connection with Scorpio? What's this person thinking, feeling? What's on their mind? Two of Swords, unsure, blocked, guarded. What's on their mind? Undecided? What's on this person's mind when it comes to Scorpio? This is making me think of that balancing act energy. Yeah, the hangman. I feel like your person, this other individual, is the one that's debating whether they should break the silence. I think that they are uh, blocked, um, kind of a, I'm picturing a box that's closed and someone's trying to open it, but they can't open it. Yeah. The moon Pisces energy, very clear energy here. This person is just as unsure, uncertain, full of doubt as you are. You're both in the same well, that's kind of the problem, though. Because they want to talk, too. There's the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They want to talk, too, but I feel like they talk themselves out of it. Should I? Should I reach out to Scorpio? Should I be the one that breaks the silence? No, I don't think I should. I should just hang around and wait for them to talk to me. I think that's the problem. This is not someone that's sure of themselves. This is not someone that knows what to do. This is someone that is hoping that they figure it out or that, you know, like someone gives them the answer. Tell me about the two of swords, the hangman and the moon. One more energy, please, for this individual. What are they thinking, feeling? The emperor. Aries energy. Interesting. I feel like this is out of character for this person. If they're an emperor energy, the emperor is very decisive. The emperor is like not this two of swords. And if they were in a situation where they didn't know all the answers, they would find out. They would figure it out. So you could be dealing with an Aries or a masculine energy here, but I think what's going on is that this is not how they typically would go about doing things, Scorpio. This person Normally, they would be very decisive and just do what they needed to do. But for some reason, they don't feel like they can do that with you. And that could be because of the history that you have with this person. There's the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. They really have no idea what path they would take. I think that's kind of the problem here. 
Let's get a PS I love you. By the way, these are my own Oracle decks and I do sell them on Etsy. They're linked down below if you wanna check them out. What's on this person's mind? What's on this person's mind? When it comes to Scorpio to this connection? Destined Union? The Six of Cups is here. This could be a soulmate. Or they recognize you as their soulmate. What's on their mind? Committed to you. I think you're both marrying each other. You cannot let go of this person, but they can't let go of you either. And you're both pretending that everything is okay. It's kind of what it looks like here. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. I'm going through a hard time. Yeah, you're both pretending. That's kind of... Or, or if you're not both pretending, you're both confused. Even though deep down you know the answer. It's kind of frustrating. Tell me if that resonates for you in the comments. But I feel like, I don't know. You both care about each other. And you both see this as a special connection and yet you're both going through a hard time because you can't do what needs to be done does that make sense where's all of this headed next where's all of this headed next spirit what can scorpio what can scorpio expect next strength leo energy Ah, seven of wands, okay. What can Scorpio expect next? Are they working up the courage to talk to you? Yes, eight of wands, <laughs> okay. King of wands at the bottom of the deck, yes. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think this is um, them working up the courage to fight for this, to, to talk to you, to make a move of some sort. Tell me about the eight of wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Seven of Pentacles. They have no idea how this is gonna work out, but I feel like they're gonna still go for it with that King of Wands. King of Wands tends to be a little impulsive. King of Wands is kind of like, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna shoot my shot. I feel like this person's gonna act very like suave, you know, what's that word? Like, they're going to act like, oh, hey, well, how's, the, how's, the, how's, how's it going? Like, very smooth. But deep down, they're terrified. I think that's what's going to happen here. <laughs> yeah. Ace of Cups. There's love here. There's love here. Yeah. And I feel like with the Five of Wands, I think that there were issues between you that looking back, it's like we could have resolved that because there was love here. And all we needed was a little bit more work or understanding or maturity to deal with it. Interesting. I feel like this person realizes they care about you and they want to fight for you. Five of wands, seven of wands. Like, I'm going to stick up for this or fight for this or try. I'm going to be the one that tries because one of us has to. That's kind of the energy I'm getting here, Scorpio. And I think they're going to work up the courage to talk to you, to reach out to make that first move that you so desperately want from them. I feel like that's all you've been waiting for is for that message to come in and you're gonna respond right away. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Let me know if I'm right about that in the comments. 